Hey you guys, okay so today we are talking about some handbags that really surprised me. Three that you guys have not seen at all. One new designer bag that I haven't shown yet that's a little different and a little unexpected for me. Updates on two and two other bags that were like $15 that are so amazing that I'm gonna give you guys a real kind of like, um, not hack, but just a tip, right? Because I see people spending a lot on a certain kind of bag and I wanna give you guys Mm, maybe some uh, some advice there maybe like a heads up so we are gonna get all into it and I'm gonna kind of give you guys a little mini review on um, a little bum bag which was something else that I totally didn't expect to love um so I will link to everything that I'm wearing today this dress I actually just discovered comes in a coral color as well I've worn this in several videos and um, I did a video when I got it it's so cute you can even take the uh, the this and kind of like just put it under your arms and wear it kind of like tube top style, which I love too. But I love this because it's not um, too billowy and like ugh, too papery and costumey looking. Sometimes you get things like this and it's just too much. I even bought a matching one for Olivia and it's very, very affordable. But it also comes in, um, is it navy or black? Okay, so a darker color and then a coral. My $15 love necklace that I love, my favorite earrings, which check those out. A lot of you guys are getting so excited about the Nordstrom sale, which something I said in the last one was inaccurate. The actual sale begins for card members on the 12th, so actually like on Friday. So it's like every tier card members you can shop. Um, so if you don't have a card, go ahead and get one. But the 11th on Thursday is when the higher tier card members can shop online, okay? Um, but then in store, as they always do every year, if you're a higher tier card member, you can shop in store the day before. And um, that's when absolutely nothing is on the website yet. That's why I said like, I see people giving suggestions and stuff, I get it, but you don't really know what you're gonna get. I don't wanna recommend anything just from a photo. I wanna get my hands on the items. I spend so much time in the store looking at everything and I have three days to do that. I'm actually going in on the 9th, which is on Tuesday. So usually the early shop ahead day in the store, which is like a real special thing, would be on the 10th. So they're still doing that. So I get two days to do that, but I'm gonna get to go in on the 9th and I'm so excited to do that. Follow me on Instagram, I'll share um, stories and really, you know, cause I know I'm gonna be like in a zone or whatever, but I'm really going to update you guys a lot, show you guys some things that they've got, you know, set out. So I'll kind of like, you know, unless if they like shut me down and tell me like not to film or whatever, but I think we'll be fine. Um, so follow me on Instagram. Let me know if you wanna see it on Thursday, which is like the day where the two highest card members can shop online, or if you'd rather me just wait until Friday and post. You know what, I guess either way you guys could get your carts ready and because it will be on the website, but I think you have to sign, okay, whatever. Well, hmm, I don't know, I might just post it on Thursday. And the sale is open to the public, everyone, card or not, pay however you want on the 19th, which I'll have some more fun stuff up then. So um, as always, I've got you guys covered. We will do it all as we do every year and um, you guys won't miss anything. I really do believe though that I'm gonna be able to give you guys the first, first peek of the actual in-store madness. All right, let's get into this, um, this video. All right, so before I share with you guys the new new bag, which I kind of like did my little own thing on, I'm, I'm, I'll show you that in just a second. Let me just get this out of the way because you need you need to get this. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your style is. You need this $15 beach tote. This is, well, let me tell you, okay? It's not like a hard straw, which, okay, like this little bag, which I'll talk about in a second. Hard straw. Do you know what I mean? Not really ideal like for a beach tote, which I've seen so many beach totes that are made out of that. I've had those in the past. Of course, you know, this woven isn't the softest thing, but it's much softer than something like that. Do you know what I mean? If you're carrying it like against your body, like, you know, when you're wearing a swimsuit or whatever, you don't, I don't want anything super abrasive. I didn't have a big, like, tote for the beach. And I wanted one that was soft. I wanted one that was simple and made well. Like I said, this is $15. Um, 15 or 19? 15 or 19, okay. Um, don't quote me on that, but it's still very good. It comes with this little tassel. Some of them are very, like, they'll say, you know, ciao or hola, whatever. I, I get it. It's cute. I like that. So I, I think it's so much more cute than just being plain. But I don't want a goofy saying. I don't want all that, you know, whatever. But this is just perfect. It's the right amount. I could even hang something else cute off of it if I wanted to. But I like that it's a soft weave. Uh, they sell one that is like $350-ish dollars that is like, I think it's called like the squishy beach shot, whatever. People love that thing. Like they buy, just buy one for that. If you're if it's gonna be sitting around the pool or, you know, I'm not gonna be 
Do you know what I'm saying? It's just a very nice bag. Grab this, you guys. They, I mean, there's just, with totes like that, there's not a lot to them. The straps are so soft and they, they feel like real leather. I don't know if they, I genuinely, is this weird? I genuinely do not know if they're, they don't feel plasticky. Do you know what I mean? If you're staying at like a resort or if you're going somewhere, it's just to me so stupid to carry a designer bag that you're gonna be leaving on the pool deck which, you know, I mean, I'll take it with me if I go somewhere like to eat or something. I don't let it get too far out of sight. But you know what I mean. If you're just going to be jumping in the pool, but I, I don't like, I, I think it's just you're asking for it. You know, I mean, anything can happen anytime, but I just don't want to be leaving like a designer bag around the pool or shoved under a chair. You know, you just want to take care of your things. And I have done that to the Neverfull over the years. And I really want to take care of it because it is getting, you know, I've had it for a long time and I do, I don't want to just trash it. So grab you a beach tote that's like that. And I just feel like it looks nice. You know, I could go eat and carry it and it's just adorable. Just, I feel like places are very impressed with these woven bags. They are so expensive, just a tote like that. Like upwards of $150, and I, I'm just like, I cannot. You guys know I will spend much, much more than that on a bag that is like my everyday, right? My Antigona, love it. Like I, it's, it's classic, it's a good bag, you know, so I can justify that. But for like a straw woven bag, it's just not something that I'm gonna spend a lot on because it's really just like an outfit that I'm gonna carry, you know, for an outfit or something adorable. This one, $15. Um, it has a little made on strap. It is just the cutest little guy and and it's got these little things hanging off of it Now last time I checked this one was out of stock, but um, there's one that's almost identical. It's like $20 Super cute so adorable and it looks like it'd be teeny tiny, but it's actually like It's not super super tiny for what it is can you even see that? It's like so white. Okay, so this is a tote. Like I said, my never full bag. I've had it for years. It is getting worn. It is my go-to travel bag. The straps are, you know, I, I don't want to get into it. I did a whole video on the saga of that like first. Was it like a first? I don't know. Okay, I the biggest never full. Let me paint a picture for you. It was the biggest never full you could get. The GM, right? They're I think fifteen hundred dollars now. When I bought it, it was $725. $725, I mean, that paints you a picture right there on how insane prices increase on things. But it was a very long time ago. They have changed a lot since then. They've improved the quality, but my straps had some issues and I did a whole video reviewing it. I wanted a new bag that was like that. And when, and I gave these so much crap, okay? I mentioned in a video a while back, I wanted a Fendi bag and I've had this one for a while now. A lot of you guys have seen me carry it on Instagram. A few times I've carried it. Y'all you know, have seen like little peeks of it. I like this print. I thought, I just, I did not love this vibe, whole Fendi, like, Fila thing, whatever. And I've mainly seen the ones that were, like, red and navy, which I don't love. I actually saw this one in person, and I was like, that's really cute. Like, I looked at it, it was just, you know, something just drew me to it. I liked it, I picked it up, I liked the feel of it. This is not a tote that you can put up on your shoulder. It's truly just one that you would carry like this. I hope they still have these. I got it majorly on sale at Nordstrom. It was really, really discounted. I hope they still have that. It's always really exciting when like a designer item that you really want is discounted because those rarely do get discounted. So I got a good deal on it. I love the inside of it. It's felt, it's pretty, but what I, I like that it has this, you know, interior pocket, but what I like is that it comes, it's what I like and what I don't like. So it's made with these nice D rings on it, right? And it's almost like they should have thrown you a bone and given you a strap for it because it's not something you can put on your shoulder, but when you are traveling, when you are using it as a true tote, you want to have a strap, but it doesn't need to be too long, you know? So I was just, I kept my eyes out and lo and behold, you know, of course they had a lot of expensive ones, but they had this like leather embossed kind of like snake print one that was 60% off and it has this pretty teal on the side and it's short enough, it's called a guitar strap, wide enough so that if you have a lot of stuff in here, you can carry it, it's not too low. It's just like if you were carrying this somewhere, like if you had a lot of stuff in it, you could throw it on your shoulder, it's good. But then also you can carry it like this and the strap adds such a pretty vibe to the bag. It's kind of like a little pinkish in the background, but I love this teal. So I feel like it made the bag a little less 
like basic, which I don't see a lot of these totes. I mean, you've seen these before or whatever, but I love that it has this that makes mine unique or makes it a little different. So I really do like this bag. Surprising for many reasons. One, because I talked crap about this whole like feel of thing. I didn't think I would like it, but I do. Um, another thing, I would have never imagined getting a big tote like this large that did not have a long strap to put on your shoulder, but I don't think I would really do that anyways. Um, so I love having this. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. So, um, so I really do like that. Okay, let's talk about this. Let me give it a little review. So I did a video on this when I got it, this little bum bag from Louis Vuitton. I did an unboxing, which was really fun to do. This was something that I saw that just really caught my eye. It's got that nice little, I love the little like rainbowy pull that it's got. It's so smooth, the zipper, it's just really nice. And um, I really do love it. Now when I unboxed it, it was an unboxing. I had not used this bag. I told you guys, this is not a review. I wanna talk to you after I've carried it a few times. I was like, listen, carry, and I'm still very much in this camp of wear the bag around your waist, right? And I think it's actually really, really cute. Now I'm not like sagging it right here, doing anything like unflattering. Like, you know, just wear it cute, it's fine. So if I wanted to get it really tight, you can, because it has two adjustments, but this one is just a little easier. But what I love about this, now I'm not a type, I don't like to wear my bag like this. This is a big thing right now. Maybe not so much right now. The big thing, like maybe like last year, several months back, wearing your bum bags like this. You know, I, I don't wanna do that. It's too fiddly. I don't want it to be on my back, like, cause it's, it's just too much. This is the key to this bag. And I, I know a lot, like they're all made different, but this bag, and you can even see when you just hold it like this, it is shaped perfectly as a shoulder bag. You can put it on and it's not like sitting out like a big, you know, like a big box or like something that doesn't look like it should be because it kind of tilts out a little bit. It's not facing like a box toward the ground or anything like that. You can put it a little up like this, which is what I kind of like to do. Super cute and just so comfortable. And you know, your arm isn't like this with a big bag that, you know, this is how I wore it most of the time. This is how I carry it. It's easy, you can just access it very quickly. It's just such a nice little handy bag. Think of it as like their cute little shoulder bag. Like you can carry it as a shoulder bag, but they have to be shaped the right way. And this one is actually shaped really, really nicely. It also comes in black. Um, very, very into this. It's held up really well. I love the color. So, so happy I got this. I mean, I was gonna mention this really quickly, but I feel like I did a big video on this recently. If you wanna see more about this, the um, this Antigona, check out, a few, gosh, maybe like a few weeks ago. I did a what's in my bag, a review, all of that. This was a bag I never expected to like. I have two in a smaller size that I love, but I really wanted to try the black in a large size because I knew I wanted like maybe a larger one, you know, just for certain times, I don't know. But I, I have not put this thing down. I have been carrying it nonstop. It does get really heavy, but again, this would be also a good bag to travel with. And I always kind of disliked these especially in black because one, you see them, you know, this, this is the kind that you see the most. My other ones are a light gray and a silver, which I think is a little different and fun. But you always see the black one, you always see the large one. But the one that you always see is the real shiny one. I'm not saying I don't like it, but it just always turned me off a little was the one that's so shiny that looks almost plasticky. And um, it always just looks like a giant doctor bag. This one totally does too but I'm really into it. I really like it. I think I'm almost ready to, to change out of it because sometimes it is a little, you know, it's very structured. So when I go to the grocery store or whatever, my kid's like in the giant rocket ship cart and I want to shove this in next to her. She's like, ugh, like, duh, you know, so I, then I have to like strap it on me. So just um, be aware it's a very large bag. So I think I'm going to switch into something smaller just because, um, I don't know because I don't know, summer? I mean, is this not the most summery bag you've ever seen? No, so anyways, this week is gonna be huge, you guys. Huge, like I said, the sale is coming up. Follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna update there. Um, I'm gonna have videos up for you guys. You won't miss a beat. I'll have all the info for y'all, so I got you covered here. And also, on Monday, you guys, okay, so before that, on Monday, this next video coming up, I am doing a type of makeup video that's very specific that I have not done in a long time that I think you're gonna really enjoy. Um, it's something that, something that I know you guys enjoy when I do them and it's something that I think is really fun to do. So, really excited to share that with you guys. So much, like I said, coming up this week. Follow me, I'll get, I'll cover the sale for you guys and then um, the next week we've got some real fun stuff coming up too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love y'all so much. Thanks for spending this time with me as always and I will see you here next week. Bye you guys.